Hey, beautiful people. Welcome back to another episode of Getting Under the Skin. I'm Topaz Adesis, and today I want to share with you a little story that I experienced in Take Home Value is feel the loneliness, but don't fear it. Okay, Tope, what, what, are, you, what are you talking about? Here's the story. Uh, the beginning of this year in January, the first week of the year, I learned that um, a very good friend of mine, his mother had passed away. And I was very close to the family. They live in Sweden, so I flew to Sweden for three days and then flew back. It was just something that I had to be there. And the funeral was beautiful. I found myself crying out of gratitude and beauty. Here's what's interesting for me, is that these are people I'm very close to. In my early 20s and 30s, they were very close to me. And I would see them, in my 20s, I'd see them a lot. I lived there for almost two years in Sweden. And then I lived in Europe, and I'd come back and visit them often. And they were like my second family. And then obviously, as we get older and different things happen, I see them a lot less now. You know, instead of seeing them twice a year, see them every five years, right? Last time I was there was five years ago. So here I am, 47, and I'm with the family and the friends. I'm looking around and I'm saying, wow, we all look kind of same, but not, right? The thing that when you look at these people, you're like, they look familiar, but they're a little different and a little weird, right? Because they're not exactly how my memory remembers them. That's time. And time has its effect on you. Has an effect on all of us, right? So in this family, there's, there's four kids. The mother who died, she had four kids. And they're all similar age. And we all met each other and became family members, basically, when, I don't know, we are in late teens, early 20s, right? And now we're meeting at the funeral. And these four kids, they have children who are the same age that we were when we first met. So I'm looking at their children and I'm seeing myself, I'm seeing them in them, Right? Go, wow, I was that young when we met and we still have this friendship. And I look around and I go, wow, this spaceship of planet Earth that we're on. And we're all traveling through it. It doesn't leave anyone behind in the sense that time affects us. We grow, we change, we wrinkle, right? And we have offspring, we raise children. Not all of us, but some of us. And I saw this mirroring effect of time passage. And I was in the house where she had died. The father, he still lives there. This is like two weeks, three weeks after she had passed. And everything was still on the walls, everything. You could feel her presence there, so beautiful and present. I ask him, how is he handling staying in the same space? Because she's all around you. And he says, I feel the loneliness, but I don't fear it. I feel the loneliness, but I don't fear it. That really moved me because how many of us really feel the loneliness? We're all scared of it. How many of us sit in it? Maybe we need to feel loneliness so that we feel connection. How would you know the feeling of connection if you didn't also know the feeling of the lack of connection or the feeling of loneliness? Maybe by not fearing loneliness, we don't fear connection. Maybe there's a relationship between the two. So maybe the flip side of feeling connected is feeling the loneliness and knowing what loneliness is and cherishing the moments we have with each other because time will not stop for anyone. It's not stopping. And we're all adjusting and growing and aging. So how do we create moments to cherish? When you look across the room and you see the people that have been in your life for 20 years, 30 years, and you have memories of them, are you creating new memories to have so that in 15, 20 years you can remember this moment? Feel the loneliness, but don't fear it. Thank you for listening. I really appreciate your time and attention. I'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye.